Alicia had to go a long way too to become this biomathematician. She had to do a lot of research herself. To play a scientist, a professor of, and a research person at this very young age. She's only 28. But then again, some of the most gifted and most extraordinary people I met in my life were way too young for what they were doing. So I felt Alicia was perfect to be this dedicated, extremely bright, extremely motivated person to go all the way with her mission and go to the bottom of the ocean. So I had two actors who really wanted to be these characters. For Danny's deep sea adventure, we found the only possible partner in Europe, which is the French Ephraimer Institute and their boat, the Atalant, and their submersible, the Nautil. There was no alternative. They're the only ones who do the work that is described in the film. The Atalant turned out to be a beautiful boat. We went to sea with it, and the Nautil we had to recreate in the studio, but the actual Nautil is, I mean, how else could it be? It's a yellow submarine. It is actually looks, believe it or not, it looks a little bit like the yellow submarine on the Beatles cover. Shooting in such diverse locations and places and under such extreme conditions meant I needed a, both an experienced cinematographer but also a very adventurous one. And I had found him in Benoit de B with whom I'd worked already on two movies before. And he is Mr. Adventurous Incorporated and he's done taking some very big risks with his films and he did some quite extreme films. And uh, Prince with Gaspar Noel. And Benoit was the right man for this. Casting these actors who had to play extreme characters like Saif who is a suicide bomber whose vest did not blow up so he's considered like a saint but he's also a maniac and we found him in the French actor Reda Katep and Reda really got into the skin of this man in a scary way he really sometimes when we're shooting with him I thought I'm oh, I'm happy I don't run into this guy in the middle of the night somewhere because you wouldn't meet this man in person. He was so much in this character. And he was the most extreme guy. But he is a great actor, Reda, and I'd worked with him once and I know he had that in him. And I first saw him in, a, in an extraordinary French film called The Prophet, where he played also a scary guy. But he is also a very, very kind soul. The other one was Alexander Siddick, who is a fantastic actor and who played a doctor who's working with a jihadist, who is both a convinced jihadist but also a doctor at the same time, so he plays a very toned character.